All right. Hi, Advanced Business Class. We are definitely getting into our business plan um, writing here soon. Uh, your ideas on Flipgrid were so fun and more so just fun to see you guys interact with each other. So thank you. We would have done very, very similar activities in class. It was just really easy to digitize it on Flipgrid. Um, as far as property shopping, um, I really want you to list out three. Uh, that way you have some options for the banker. I've never done it this way. And I think as I've muddled through working with our local bankers, I think if you go to them with options versus like, here's what I'm going to do, they can feel like they're guiding you and helping you make that better financial decision. So I'm wanting three. You need to find at least one or two to buy and at least one or two to rent. And another word for rent is leasing. Um, I gave you some what ifs, yeah buts, what abouts options, but for some of you, a barn or a shed, no problem. Great. You're probably not going to have a bakery if you're Sophia in a tin shed, but you could have one really, really cool bakery in a really upscale barn. So don't think barn is not doable just because of the type of business you are. You know, like I think of Nevea and a funky coffee shop and Boutique would be awesome in an old barn. It's just that you're going to limit yourself if people have to drive 20 miles to get there. Um, you know, think about how the skirt outlet started in a really great tin shed in the country, and now look at their retail space downtown. So just don't limit yourself, but make sure customers could get to you. Uh, for some of you, a home-based business would be a really great option, especially if it's you're like, you know, I think of, um, you know, McKenna and photography possibly. That could easily start off at home. You know, William, with your um, construction, easily could start at home as long as you have space to keep your equipment and then could grow and expand later. So that could be one of your options. So as you look online, um, it's kind of hard because you have to find property that truly is for sale. Um, you have to find, hopefully, a realtor website that backs it up where it's listed. So for example, is it... Um, Hoffman Realty, which I know Jen has just recently changed her name to something else, but nonetheless, um, Jen Riley. Um, or is it American Eagle Realty with um, Karen and Kyle Burgett? You know, if you can find it on a realtor website, great. Zillow.com is a really nice option. So, for example, if I go on to Zillow, uh, they're a nationally listed thing. A lot of times, like even when we were buying our house a year ago, you know, I could type in Morris, Minnesota, and it's going to give me really specific things in Morris that's for sale. Um, what's neat is I can scroll through and see the listings, but I can also see a map of Morris. So as I zoom in, oh, where'd you go, Morris? Let's get a zoom out. You know, I could click on this property and then I could buy that. Or I could scroll through over on the side and find property as well, okay? Um, you know, like, try to find a nice range of prices. You know, like this house across from the courthouse, it's absolutely beautiful, 455,000. You know, um, don't let that detour you, but just have a, an option, you know, like that would be a really cool bed and breakfast house, for example, or a health and wellness center for you, Matt, Maddie. Um, it's off the beaten path, but yet I'll teach you how to market like no one's business, so customers would know how to find you. If I would refine my search, though, instead of Morris, Minnesota, if I do Stevens County, Minnesota, it's going to, of course, give you the whole county. Maybe. There you go. And so you'll get, you know, as far north as Donley, as far west as Chicago, and even down to Hancock. Um, if you do Douglas County, I know a lot of you are looking in the Alexandria area, that's going to give you all of Douglas County and like their lakes area. So if I zoom in a bit more, like here's their chain of lakes, you know, and you're going to start to see lake property throughout there. Now, a lot of it's homes, of course, but you can look at businesses. So if I just bring you to, I'll just go to AE Realty real quick. Um, it's, of course, Karen and Kyle Burgett. If I go to listings, um, you know, here's stuff with acreage. So if I want to be out in the country, some of it is, um, you know, a lot of it, it's appearing to be a house. 
if I go to I go to Hoffman Realty, like I said, I know Jen just changed the name. Hoffman Realty. <laughs> Ah, yes. So I guess Google. Oh, sorry, you guys. I'm having to Google search here. Realtors Morris, Minnesota. It's thinking. I think this is it. I know you used to somewhere you could look for the type. Um, I apologize. I apologize. Um, you can sometimes search for property that's like um, commercial property. Um, and that's a nice option. Yeah, this is this is Jen, but um, how about leasing? So if I go to Google, and I don't know how much you're going to find in Morris for leasing property, but I'll just jump on to Alec. So if I type in Alexandria, Minnesota, retail, not just like an apartment for lease, but retail property for lease. Um, what's going to happen is they'll bring up websites. Um, some of it's going to be for sale, but some of them it's going to be for lease. So property that you could rent. So you start seeing businesses. Um, oh, here. Like here's this restaurant that's kind of over by Target. It's been a lot of different things. I think it's called Tennessee Roadhouse, if I'm not mistaken right now. So this means this property is, oh, I guess it's for sale. Um, they give you a lot of specs here, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm looking for something for lease. Here's one for lease. And you're probably not gonna have that whole giant building. Maybe you are. It would be maybe a portion of this building. I, I hate to call this a strip mall, but it's oftentimes buildings like this will have several building um, businesses housed inside of it. So just so you can see the difference when it says for lease, that means it's um, like for rent versus for sale. Um, you of course would buy it. Sometimes deals like that would have a leasing option, but we'll we'll get we'll let the banker figure that out. And of course, I can work with you on that. So, I hope that helped. Um, I technically, I'm using tomorrow, which would is in 30 29 minutes, um, as a personal leave day. Uh, Claire and I are in the Twin Cities. Actually, um, I'll tell you all about it when we get when I get back. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, long story short, Santa brought her. Um, tickets that Santa might have purchased way last November. So tomorrow is the day. It's just that um, I won't be available technically via email. And if I happen to see an email come through from one of you, I'll likely respond just because it's the teacher heart in me. But um, technically, I'm off the clock tomorrow. So try to work through this. Um, you, of course, have each other to help. Um, but if you are in dire straits and need my help, you can shoot me an email. If I'm available, I'll certainly respond back. But this is the fun part. And then you start to feel kind of snoopy because then you look at your friends' houses that are for sale or the house across the street from yours that's for sale. And it, it's kind of fun. Um, Riley can attest that, I mean, if she's really even looking into insurance and real estate, this is going to be extra fun for her. So um, we, ho I hope, I hope to see you soon. I hope that we are back to school and life can be back to normal at the old 201 South Columbia Avenue. So I plan on having a welcome back to school party. So come with your party hats ready to go because treats and signs and a whole bunch of hoopla will wait. But as for now, I'm signing off and going to enjoy um, the day with Claire in the Twin Cities tomorrow. And all I have to do is thank the jolly old elf Santa for making this happen. It's just the timing is not ideal. But 
we'll see you um, again when we're all together. Good luck uh, property shopping.